to get started, can you tell us a bit about your journey from being a Shaolin monk in China to establishing the USA Shaolin Temple? To be a monk, I practice the physical, mental, spiritual. There are one. When I was an infant, I almost died. My parents tried to save me life. Unfortunately, they couldn't. At age five, my parents took me to the Shaolin Temple. Since from that day until now, in the 21st century, I never got sick <laughs> over half a century. At a teenage, I become national champion. Back to 1992, I being invited to the United States with the brother monks. We performed in the United States. After performing, I decided to stay in the States to spread Shanta Chan philosophy or Shanta martial arts to the Western world. Mm -hmm. I chose New York City. I chose New York City because New York City is diversity. The people come from around the world. If I can spread Shanta Chan philosophy or Shanta martial arts in New York City, <laughs> automatically spreading philosophy or martial arts to the world. Because very unique city and diversity. When I established the U.S. Shan Temple, I didn't have enough money to pay utilities. I put a flashlight that used the batteries <laughs> on the wall. When I was teaching classes, I turned them on. When I finished teaching classes, I turned them off. That time, first, first. I didn't have uh, money to pay utilities or didn't have heat, didn't have hot water. Yeah, that's why you know, I used a, a flashlight and told classes. First, first, believe in yourself, trust in yourself, understand your purpose, why we're here. I must you know, challenge myself, encourage myself. That's why I continue yeah, to do my journey. I do as best as I can do, as much people I can help in my precious lifetime. At that time, I always keep challenging myself. Now we still have the temple in New York City. And also I have six branches around the world. Also we have a bigger piece of land and property in upstate New York. In your experience from teaching Shaolin Kung Fu, what have you found to be the biggest challenges that students face and how do you help them overcome these challenges? To be a master or shifu. I understand that. How to be, become like a, the master, how to help yourself, help others. I understand not only just be like a shifu master, like a be, become like a mother, like a cousin, brothers, nephews. Everybody's beautiful. Everybody's fantastic. I cannot use one way to approach anyone. I have used different way to approach individually, different people. In lifetime, nothing easy, nothing hard. The things you want to do it, if difficult, Will, will become easy. The easy, easy things you don't want to do it would become difficult. And that's why I said, I have used different ways to approach. Individually, everybody's beautiful, everybody's fantastic. And what impact can Shaolin Kung Fu have on people and how does it have the potential to transform their lives? To potential to transform their lives. Shang Temple martial arts has all the styles. You talk about, about empty, empty kinds of forms, weapons, Self-defense. Shan Temple has 72 chambers. We have 36 yin chambers. We have 36 yang chambers. Back to 11 centuries ago, beginning of the Song Dynasty, the Grandmaster Fu Yu invited best martial arts across in China come to Shan Temple. Nine years, three times, each time three years, that combined all the martial arts to the Shan Temple martial arts. We have a soft fist with, you know, Qi Kung exercise forms, Tai Chi, 
that what are you looking for? There's different food, like you choose. Okay. Different variety. You want to choose Chinese food? Okay, there, there is. You want to choose Japanese food? There is. You want to choose Western food? There is. Okay. Shanta martial arts has all the styles, belong to everybody. Understand? You have to discipline yourself. You have to challenge yourself. You have to master yourself. Take the pain. Okay. Life has pain. If you don't want to experience Shanta martial arts, as long as your life, the pain is still with you. Nobody can avoid the pain. Take the pain, turn to the joy, the happiness, to help everybody to overcome in life.